Hey there, I'm Crucian and welcome to Rackner TV. Today, I am super excited to share with you all about another local WordPress development tool, the Instant WP. This is useful for anyone looking to set up a WordPress site on their local machine, and the best part, it is free and super lightweight. Now, before we get into the step-by-step -step setup guide, let's talk about what Instant WP is and why you may want to use it. Instant WP is a software package that allows you to easily set up local development environments for WordPress on your local machine. This means that you can build and test your WordPress sites right on your own computer without needing to upload files to a remote server every time you make a change. Pretty neat, right? So why would you want to use Instant WP for hosting websites? Well, there are several benefits. Firstly, it is a great tool for developers who want to work on WordPress sites locally before pushing them live. It's also a fantastic option for beginners who are just getting started with WordPress and want to experiment without the risk of breaking anything on a live site. Now let's get into the good stuff, the installation process. Before we do, make sure that you have a Windows machine or server ready to follow along. If you haven't already, head over to Rack Rackner.com for hosting solutions and check out some of our other helpful guides here on YouTube. All right, let's dive in and I will share my screen here and let's get started with the tutorial. First, you will want to download the Instant WP package from their website, which you can find at instantwp.com and choose your local machine's operating system or OS. In my case, it will be Windows. This may take some time depending on your internet speed, so just be patient. Now, once it's downloaded, go ahead and unzip the file to a location of your choice on your computer. I would suggest under your local C drive and please do not add any spaces when renaming to your preferred folder name as it would cause issues for the program. Next, navigate to your Instant WP files and double click on the start instant wp.bat file to launch the application. And it should start the process of launching the application, including its dependencies. So when prompted for permission to your local machine, please allow them completely as they are necessary to run instant WP properly. and we are directed to our Instant WP dashboard. Before we can use it, we will need to allow the port that we will use for Instant WP to access our local browser. As of the time of this tutorial, the only working method 100% that I have tested so far in Windows 11 is Firefox. So please follow through my guide for the best outcome for these steps. First, let's open up our Firefox browser and enter in the search bar about colon config with no spaces. Next, search below the search bar of this page, network.security.ports.band.override. No spaces, dots in between every word. And simply enable it by clicking the plus icon. When prompted, enter your port number, which in our case, it would be 10080 by the time of making this tutorial. From here on, your port is now enabled and will be used for instant WP programs. So let's get back to our instant WP dashboard, where all the information to access your newly set up local WordPress environment is by default ready for you. Just use these credentials initially and change them if necessary. But in most cases, since you're working only offline, you don't need to worry too much about getting hacked. So to get access to your WordPress local site, just head over to 127.0.0.1 colon 10080 forward slash WordPress forward slash WP dash admin. And when you log in, just update your WordPress core and other modules to get access to the latest functions and features that are available to you. So that's it, you're ready to start building and testing your WordPress sites locally with Instant WP. Pretty simple, right? I hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Rackner TV YouTube channel for more helpful tips and tutorials just like this one. And don't forget to visit Rackner.com for all your hosting needs. Thanks for tuning in today with me and I'll see you in the next video.